Welcome to Tiger Drop Films, and if you're a returning viewer, then I sincerely thank you. And for this Yakuza video, I have to ask, have you ever wanted to kick my ass? <laughs> we'll answer that question today, because I want to talk about some of the sort of rare and pseudo-online multiplayer modes of the Yakuza series. Now, right off the bat, no, it's not multiplayer like you think it is. It's really just some online modes where you can create your own content in the Yakuza games and share them online and therefore allow other players to engage with it. For instance, I recently finished Infinite Wealth's Dondonko Island and it was really a great experience and it truly felt like a gift that kept on giving in many ways from all the great fan service from being a Yakuza fan and just the creativity and freedom to do your own thing in building these resort islands. But at one point in this little side story a little parrot comes along and Ichiban meets him and he allows the player to engage in some online content. By that you can visit other players that don't go islands, their resorts, and you can visit their islands and complete little tasks that each player gives to you, the visitor. Whether that's just sightseeing, taking pictures, catching bugs, and fish, and collecting items, or even engaging in Sujiban battles against this player. And this really just sparked my imagination with all the potential a Yakuza series really could have in fostering a little online community. Because, to be frank, yeah, Yakuza games are single player and they should definitely stay a single player experience going forward. However, Yakuza is also a franchise that's full of a plethora of mini games such as the couch co-op minigames that are present in every game, whether it's just playing pool, darts, or Virtua Fighter, and many other games. I think it's cool there's also a bit of an online component. And that's why, you know, this part in the Dodonko Island experience really stuck out to me, because I did not expect the option to go and explore other players' islands and engage with their Sujibon teams. I just thought that was really cool. And recently I also went back to Yakuza 6 because through the Dodonko Island minigame and Infinite Wealth, I got a little curious. I started to think, well, what other little online content does the Yakuza series offer besides just rankings? So I went back to the Kiryu Clan Creator minigame in Yakuza 6, and let me tell you, I was pleasantly surprised to learn that there was also an online component in that game. Now it's not much, but you can create your own defense like team and you can put it online and have other players challenge you. Uh, yeah, you don't really get to see like the fights in real time, but it's nice knowing that people can engage with your team that you put out out there. Uh, for instance, I tried to raid someone else's team and here's what happened. <laughs> Man, the guy's Date was like level 99 and he one-shotted my Saijima. <laughs> That's insane. And stuff like that, that I find just funny, you know, it's humorous, it's goofy, and it just fits Yakuza so well. And I do think it kind of scratches the itch of, you know, fighting other players through this clan creator mode. And stuff like that, Date taking up my Saijima was just priceless. And I really was happy to find that Yakuza 6's clan creator provided that. And this brings me to this point. At the beginning of the video I asked if you guys ever wanted to kick my ass. Well, there you go. I'm going to share it right here on the screen. Whether it's visiting my Dodonko Island and seeing what little things I have, you can kick the crap out of my Sujimon team, or in Yakuza 6's Kiryu clan you can raid my defenses and beat the crap out of me. How does that sound? I'm handing that over to you guys. 
Let's try to build a little bit of the Yakuza community in a different way besides just, ah, uh, video essays and watching live streams. You know, let's try to engage with some of the online modes and just goof around a little bit. That's all I ask from Tiger Drop Films. Here's where you can find me on PlayStation. You can fight my teams of guys. And you know, maybe we can get some of the other Yakuza YouTubers on there to share their online modes and we can, you know, fight them too, huh? I think that'll be a lot of fun. You can get Snowius Angry Man and Gokudonia and Double Leon, you know, get everybody out there. That's all I want from my channel, just other ways to kind of help engage with the Yakuza community. I think there are some other ways that maybe we've overlooked that could be a lot of fun. And for other online modes in the series, there's also, I believe, in the first judgment, and maybe it is in Lost Judgment 2, there's the drone racing where you can see online ranked play. You can also go through other people's uh, races and you can try to beat their times. I'll have to double check on that, but the judgment games also have a little bit of the online component. And then there's, of course, as I mentioned earlier, the couch co-op. I invite a friend and you can battle them that way with pool, darts and any other mini game like Virtua Fighter for my knowledge. And I also checked back in Kwame too and Sally the clan creator mode in that game, Majima Construction, it doesn't have the same type of pseudo online play that the clan creator and six provided. Instead in Kwame 2, if you go to online play, you can have your Majima Construction fight at the Tojo Clan headquarters. So it's pretty cool to be able to fight at the Tojo Clan. It, that isn't really present in the main Majima Construction minigame, but if you want, you can go fight Red Man online in that little mode, so that was interesting. But overall, yep, this was just a small little video and just something I thought was interesting with the Yakuza franchise. You know, going forward, no, they shouldn't try to make some insane online mode. I don't know how well that would work or translate, you know, unless maybe they kept it a bit tactical like Sujimon or even just the overall turn-based combat because with heat actions and other mechanics I'm not so sure how the normal brawler combat would translate to online without feeling just super janky. You know, compare that to your franchise like Resident Evil which I also think really hasn't capitalized on some kind of middle ground of its online combat. Uh, with Resident Evil they should just combine mercenaries and raid mode and go that route of online play, something simple enough for people to engage with without getting a little too hectic. But back to Yakuza. And who knows where Yakuza will go in the future. Maybe we'll see some other modes like Dodonko Island and Clan Creator that have some kind of small online component that extends beyond rankings. But again, who knows? The future is looking bright for the franchise. And I'm excited to see where it's gonna go. Who knows what other insane mini games and side content the series is going to bring and what kind of engagement that can also entail for the overall community. So I've been Tiger Drop Films, thank you guys for watching this smaller video of mine and yeah again feel free to find me on these online modes. Tiger Drop Films out and I'll see you in the next one.